We are smack dab in the middle of summer and I know so many of you are out there traveling this year, finally getting out and about, and I've had a lot of requests for me to share my thoughts on luxury travel pieces. Today I'm specifically gonna talk about five Louis Vuitton travel pieces. They are probably my most used. I definitely have some that I love, some that I reach for more often, and pros and cons in regards to all of them. When it comes to luxury travel pieces, they are definitely a luxury. They are not a must. You can definitely find more affordable options for all of the pieces that I'm going to share with you guys today. But if you are a luxury collector, you enjoy luxury as much as I do, you enjoy splurging on these kind of things. And these little accessories when traveling just kind of bring a smile to your face. So let's talk about my five most used luxury pieces. Are they worth it? And should you buy them for your next vacation? First up is the Dop Kit Toilet Pouch. I don't know why I think that name is so weird. Why can't it be Toiletry Pouch? Anyways, I think it's a weird name. It, this one retails for $940, and I really, really was looking for a huge, huge toiletry bag, something that could fit everything, but also fit full-size products if I were doing more of a road trip traveling, and this one, is perfection. I love one, how easy it is to open, but then also once you open it, you really don't have to take over the entire bathroom with this thing. You can see and reach everything really, really easy. Look at how big that is. I love that there is no like added bulk to it. There's no wasted space. It really just holds a ton, ton, ton. Plus you've got a little magnet right there on the end. So whenever you're traveling and you need to move this off of the sink area and put it on your nightstand or on a table or whatever, you can close it without closing it per se. It's really, really easy to travel with. Like I said, because there is no added bulk or no just kind of wasted space, it also makes for very, very easy packing. You've also got this little handle here. Yes, you can actually use this as a handle once it's full. I hold it like this, filled up all of the time. Mine is in monogram. It also comes in, I think it comes in like the graphite uh, monogram option as well. I personally just love the monogram. You've got the Baquetta tab, you've got some Baquetta piping nothing on the bottom it's just a very very simple streamlined piece that is really really packed practical for travel so if you have been hesitant about a toiletry bag and you're wanting something really really big maybe something you and your spouse could share or maybe something that you can fit both makeup and skincare in this is a really good size to be able to do that so i do recommend this one it is pricey but it is worth it and it's going to be one of those pieces that i know i'm going to be able to have for the next 20 30 years and be able to get a ton of use out of it next up is the niece bb this one retails for one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars i get asked about this one all of the time because one it's really really beautiful it is a beautiful vanity case it is one of those pieces that i was really really excited to add this to my collection this was actually the first larger size toiletry bag that i added to my collection and um, was really excited to use this really excited to have it for travel i do have some pros and cons definitely definitely a pro is that it's adorable it's so cute it's a really really good size and it does fit a ton, like a ton, a ton, a ton. It is more of a traditional like vanity type of thing where you've got these kind of zippers. So it's not as easy to get in and out of as the previous toiletry bag that I mentioned. You also do have the top handle, which is nice. The flap stays attached. So it just kind of moves to the back, which is really, really great as well. And as you can see, I've got some products in here already. A lot can fit inside of here. You also have this little slip pocket back here. You've got a wipeable interior. All of them have wipeable interior or pretty much anything travel related has a wipeable interior. You also have some smaller little pouches here. I don't think I've ever actually used those. So I wanna go ahead and dive into the cons and why I ended up buying the dot kit instead of using this one for travel. I just found that this one was a little bulkier for travel. I don't know how to explain it. The shape of the dot kit just was a little bit more travel friendly to me. Do I still use this for travel sometimes? absolutely I do but I personally like this on a vanity versus for travel more 
Can you buy it for travel? Absolutely. Is it really, really practical for travel? Absolutely. I just like how simple the top kit is to get in and out of. I like the size of it. I, I just overall like that one a lot better for travel, but I do still really like this one and it is still one of those things that I do use a ton and get asked about a ton. So in my opinion, if you are going to buy one, I do like the other one better. I think the price point is better. You can fit a lot more. It's a lot more streamlined, even though this one is great. Um, I do think like you can see that's a full size foundation. Like there is a lot of product in here. I actually keep this upstairs on my vanity because I just think it looks really, really beautiful. So I do think that this could be a little bit of a two in one. That's what's great about this one versus the other one. The top kit is purely travel. In my opinion, I just don't love the way that it looks on a vanity, um, like aesthetically, like for decor. Whereas this one could be your vanity case, but then you could zip it up and throw it in your travel bag whenever you're traveling. And it could be your travel case as well. So that is what's really nice about this one. The fact that it could be a two in one because it really is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. You've got the same monogram. You've got, um, you know, the Vaquetta handle, you've got some Vaquetta piping, nothing on the bottom. Again, this will be one of those pieces that I'll be able to have for the next 10, 20 years. I will enjoy it. I will love it, but I do reach for the dot kit a lot more than I reach for this one. Next up is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. Now, I think that this one has been discontinued. I cannot find it anywhere on the Louis Vuitton website any longer. And I have had some people tell me that it was discontinued. I am totally bummed about that. And I really strongly considered not even mentioning it in this video. However, it is still very, very widely available on the pre-loved market. So I'll link some pre-loved options down below for you guys. And it's probably one of my favorite toiletry pouches just because how slim and sleek it is. If I am traveling and I really, really, really want to pack as minimal as possible and I really, really need to downsize my packing and only carry a, a carry-on, this is the toiletry pouch that I will carry. It surprisingly holds a ton. You've got the same wipeable interior. Let me open it up. But look at how big that is. It really, really holds a lot. Keep in mind, it is definitely smaller than the other two pouches that I've mentioned, but we're talking about traveling light here. This is the travel light option that I definitely recommend you get if you can find it on the pre-loved market. I'm hoping that maybe it is just a inventory thing. I don't think that's the case because it's literally completely gone from the website but hopefully this comes back or at least a similar version of this one comes back. I bet you that's what they're doing. They're probably re inventing this pouch and going to relaunch it in a newer version, which would be great. I think it's a really, really great pouch. I would be super disappointed if they do not have something similar to this in their, you know, in their collection and as an option, because it is my favorite collection as far as pouches go. I have the 15, I have the 19, but the 26 is perfect perfect for travel. Like I said, I'll link some down below. It's a very simple piece. You don't have any piping. I love that about it because you don't have any glazing either, but you've got this top zipper compartment. You've got a little tabby here and it just zips open really, really easy. The wipeable interior, like I said, it fits a ton. It is just one of my favorite travel pouches and probably my most used travel pouch in general. I highly recommend this one if you can get it and find it in good condition. It's just an amazing piece. Next up is the Louis Vuitton 200 milliliter travel case. It also comes in a 100 size as well, which is quite a bit smaller. They're just adorable. Now these were actually made to uh, be a case for the Louis Vuitton perfumes and that's really the purpose of them and how they're marketed. However, I really, really love putting my jewelry in this for travel. So the smaller one retails for I think it's 460 and the larger one now retails for 600. I did not pay that. I've had mine for a few years at this point. It is basically just a cylinder. Their perfume bottle slide right in. You can cover it and it is like the perfume travel case. Like I said, I don't use it for that. I actually don't even have any Louis Vuitton perfumes, but I love using this as a little jewelry case. You can put your earrings or your rings or whatever it is in their individual pouches and kind of stuff these in, close it up and you've got this 
adorable little like jewelry case that you can travel with. Again, we're talking about luxury here. Is this completely necessary? Absolutely not. Are there a ton of jewelry case options available on the market that I actually own and love as well? Absolutely, but I do like this one as well, especially if I am traveling and I wanna have a lot of outfit options. I actually put my fancier jewelry in here and if I just kind of know like that's where my fancy jewelry is let me grab that and put it in a special spot I'll put like unique things in here you could obviously also put money or anything like that it is just the cutest little thing um, this in my opinion is definitely not a must when it comes to travel but I did have a few people ask about this if I use it for anything else and what I use it for and like I said I do really love using it for that if you're wanting to use it at home when you're not traveling, it makes for the cutest, cutest either pen holder or makeup brush holder. This on your vanity, like next to the niece BB, you can put your makeup brushes in here or you can put pins in an office. There are so many different things that you could use this for when you are not traveling. So do I think this has a lot of different functions? Absolutely, and it's just the cutest. And last but certainly not least is my Keep All 45 Bandolier. I get asked about this one a ton and asked if one it's worth the money if you should buy this if it's practical if it's heavy how much fits inside i get so many questions about this piece and i will say i am so glad that i purchased this bag now keep in mind i actually have owned a piece of louis vuitton luggage like an actual rolling carry-on size luggage and i personally feel like the keep all is a much better buy than spending the money on the luggage i remember Remember, I would travel with my Louis Vuitton um, carry-on and if they ever had to take it for whatever reason if we were on a particularly smaller plane or maybe um, they just ran out of space and they had to actually take my luggage I would literally have so much anxiety the entire time that we were traveling wheels would get broken cracks in the plastic and it was just one of those pieces that the headache and the stress and the anxiety for me was not worth it I ended up buying the 45 I also had the 55 in the past and I am so happy with this purchase as well I personally like having a really really cute piece of luggage I will pop on a picture of my actual luggage and then have a duffel like this sitting on top or carrying it with and I just think that looks so elegant and so chic and so much fun but also not like stressful this obviously I've always been able to carry with me on the plane I'm pretty sure most planes you can carry a 50 and 55 sometimes just depending on obviously the size of the plane but I just felt more comfortable with this one I also like I said had the 55 and that one would get really really heavy when I was carrying it and the 45 is just a lot more manageable for me and what I can carry and what I want to carry around a airport this one retails for two thousand dollars I've had this one for a long time and it obviously has gone up a ton in price it is in monogram you can get it in a few different colors I really struggled on whether I wanted to get it in the bean because I love a bean but I decided to make all of my travel pieces cohesive and do it in the monogram just because that was really just I don't know what I gravitate towards it's also what I gravitate towards when it comes to SLGs if you are deciding between a keep ball and you don't know if you should get just the top handle or the bandolier my honest opinion is trust me you are gonna regret not buying the bandolier yes I know it is more expensive not all sizes come in both options so keep that in mind but I definitely recommend splurging a little bit more spend the extra money because trust me you are going to want to have the strap that you can carry on your shoulder you can even carry it crossbody as well when you're walking through an airport some of those airports are huge you guys some of those airports have long long walks to get to your gate or terminal and you're gonna want to have that longer strap trust me do not just buy the top handle one you will regret it believe me i have been there size wise it can fit a ton i personally feel like the 45 is the perfect weekender but also a great kind of addition to a rolling or full-size luggage keep in mind there are not any interior pockets it's basically just like a speedy minus the little pouch it's just one dark hole 
it is a little hard to see everything once it's packed and to kind of get everything because it's just a huge hole and it's really really dark inside there but obviously that means that you can fit a ton in it just like a Louis Vuitton Speedy you can fit a ton 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 in this piece if you've been hesitant to buy a keep all, maybe you've wanted to know if you should get a keep all or maybe an actual piece of luggage. My honest opinion is buy the keep all. It is something you'll have for a lot longer. You're not gonna have to worry about it getting damaged. Now, are, is it possible that you could get some wear on the leather or wear on the canvas? Absolutely, but you don't have to worry about hardware. You don't have to worry about rolling wheels or handles or actual plastic and metal. The price point is obviously a lot better, but I also think you look just as cute. Get yourself a cute piece of luggage. I really, really love my luggage. I know I popped on a picture already. I'll pop on another one of my luggage I love my luggage. The white is plastic, so you can actually clean it really, really easy with like a magic eraser. I have definitely gotten like scuffs and scrapes on my luggage and I just use a magic eraser to remove it and mine still looks brand new. And I've actually had my carry-on size for maybe three years and it looks amazing. I did recently add the full size to my luggage because I wanted to have like a matching set and I love it and I just think these look so beautiful together. If you're not into white, it does come in like navy, black. It also comes in a beautiful, beautiful like a uh, hunter green color. Um, and I think that this, it, the keep all, especially in the monogram is such a beautiful complement to all of those. The strap is of course adjustable, just like a speedy bandolier. You've also got this thicker piece right here so that it doesn't dig into your shoulder. I really find the 45 size to be really really comfortable and if you are considering adding one piece of luggage like Louis Vuitton luggage to your travel collection I really really recommend the keep all especially in the 45 size it's a very manageable size for me to carry on my own even if it's completely completely full and even though $2,000 is a lot of money, like obviously that is a lot of money, but to be able to get a piece that I will be able to have this for the next 50 years, I can hand this down to my sons and they could use it for travel in, you know, 20, 30 years. They'll be able to have their spouses and their children use it for travel in another 50 years. This is just one of those classic pieces that again, I don't have to worry about hardware. I don't have to worry about anything breaking. It is just a beautiful, beautiful, like oversized duffel bag that I'll just be able to hand down and have in my family for many many years to come so that is it you guys my five top most used Louis Vuitton travel pieces I'd love to know your thoughts on the pieces that I shared with you what is on your Louis Vuitton or just luxury travel wish list let me know down below if you're new to my channel my name is Amanda I do luxury fashion and lifestyle videos here make sure to hit that subscribe button before you head out Make sure to check out one of these and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. And bye-bye. Don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast trying to find the red flags I'm used to.